We've been using the word statement, but what else can we say about statements? First, that every statement has a, quote, truth value. That is, it's either true or false, but never true and false at the same time. It is either one or the other. It's also important to note that not all sentences are statements, even if all statements are sentences. Only declarative sentences are statements, such as, that car is a Mercedes-Benz. That tells us something. It must be that there are sentences that are not statements. In fact, that is the case. Sentences that are expressive, or imperative, or interrogative, these sentences are not assertions of states of affairs which are either true or false. It's also important to note that not just any old collection of statements constitutes an argument as in this example. Suppose someone says Medgar Evers is located in Brooklyn, Hunter College is in Manhattan, and Queens Community College is in Queens. Despite the fact that this contains three statements, there's no logical relationship of support or justification among them. So this is really a non-argument. These sets of statements, by contrast, are arguments. Take a look at them. Why are they arguments? Because we have a logical relationship of support or justification or backing for one of the claims and that is all we need for an inference to be present. So let's wrap this up. Every argument has at least two separate statements. One is a claim that needs, to, that needs support and the other or others provide that support. The claim that needs support is called the conclusion, and the claims that provide the support are called premises. It's that simple. That concludes this segment. Please continue to the next segment in this multi-part presentation.